today is our republic day and around this time usually some debate start about the idea of india we are taught in schools is that we were just a group of uh, kingdoms we were uh, you know the jodhpur kingdom the maratha kingdom the nizam of hyderabad the mysore kingdom and there were such 500 other kingdoms we were always fighting against each other the british came they conquered us they consolidated us into one and the idea of india was born this is what we are taught in schools and last year around the same time saif ali khan even went to the extent of making a statement uh, that there was no concept of india until the british gave us one so my friends let us understand this idea of india from common sense from history and from our shastras our scriptures so let's take three examples from history to understand this idea of india you see this coin interesting isn't it now let's flip it over what do you see here yes the term india who do you think issued this coin it was issued by the infamous east india company the they called themselves the east india company my friends this was way back in 1600 the british had not even set foot on the soil of india but yet a group of britishers came together to establish trade with our country and they called themselves the east india company they did not name it the jodhpur company hyderabad company marathwada company or the sikh company they named it the east india company so unless the idea of india was prevalent how why would they even name their company as such and uh, mind you this was in 1600 even before the first britisher had even set foot on this soil we go back another uh, red years or so back we come across christopher columbus christopher columbus was petitioning the different kings queens of europe to give him enough money so that he can go about a voyage to discover a westerly sea route to guess where to india he was not looking for a voyage to come to uh, mysore or to marathwada or to junagadh he was asking them to fund his mission to come to india it's another matter of course that uh, he ended up discovering the americas but when he did land there into the uh, western hemisphere he thought that he had uh, found the sea route to india he even went about naming those islands as india and even to this day they are known as the west indies my friends let's go back few more centuries back to the empire of chandragupta maurya when chandragupta maurya was ruling this land he was visited by a greek ambassador his name was megasthenes megasthenes traveled all over this land uh, he studied he observed the political social economic structure of this land and he recorded it in his magnum opus which is again he called indica which is the greek name for india so my friends we see from history that the idea of india has been existing all throughout it was it was not something which the british gave to us next time you invite a priest to your home to do a puja carefully observe what he says the way he would be introducing the yajman the person who is doing the puja is by giving the space and time coordinates it would go something in the lines of om vishnu 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 om adya brahmano agni dvitiya parardhe shri shweta rah kalpe vaivast 
ಉತಮನ್ವಂತರೆ ಅಷ್ಟವಿಂಶತೀತಮೆ ಕಲಿಯುಗೆ ಕ ಕಲಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಚರಣೆ ಜಂಬುದ್ವೀಪೆ ಭರತ ಖಂಡೆ ಭಾರತ ವರ್ಷೆ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಂಬುದ್ವೀಪೆ ಭರತ ಖಂಡೆ ಭರತ ವರ್ಷೆ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಹಿಸ್ಟಾರಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ದ ಡೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋತ್ರ ಯುವರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೂಜಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ದೇರ್ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ India has been a land of tremendous diversity be it with respect to language food habits the what we wear the arts the and on and on but yet there has been a great unifying factor which has transcended these differences what is that unifying factor it is the culture of our land it is our sanatan dharma whether be it a pandit in kashmir or whether be it a, a vaishnava saint in tamil nadu they all have had the same respect for our scriptures like ramayan mahabharat bhagavad gita bhagavatam ramayan itself has been translated in so many languages across india there might have been different kingdoms but yet the idea of rama krishna of dharma has been the same across the different kingdoms of india people in the south would aspire to go to the holy dhams like uh, kashi haridwar uh, rishikesh vrindavan mathura dwarka um, or kedarnath badrinath similarly people in the north would want to come to the uh, places in the south like rameshwaram shrirangam udupi so my friends they would not think that i am going to a different country oh rameshwaram belongs to a different country i am not going there or okay dwarka is in the, maybe controlled by the state of uh, junagadh so i will not go there no people would want to go to these holy places so what is the uniting factor it is again our sanatana dharma india has been the land of so many rivers for example the river kaveri originates and flows through what was previously called as the mysore kingdom is it that only the people of mysore kingdom were actually respecting kaveri no way irrespective of whether the person was from uh, bengal or from uh, junagadh or from kashmir they would actually chant this shloka while taking bath gange cha yamune chaiva godavari saraswati narmade sindhu kaveri jale smin sannidhim kuru o rivers ganga yamuna godavari saraswati narmada sindhu and kaveri please enrich the water i am bathing with in your presence kingdoms might come and go states might actually get split but the idea of india is not just a political one the unifying factor for india has been the rich culture of india guru shishya parampara that has existed which have taught us the shastras that have passed us on this knowledge to us in shrimad bhagavatam fifth skanda 19th chapter there is a reference to india shloka goes something like this ಕಲ್ಪಾಯುಷಾಂ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಜಯಾತ್ ಪುನರ್ಭವಾ ಕ್ಷಣಾಯುಷಾ ಭಾರತ ಭೂಜಯೋ ವರಂ ಕ್ಷಣೇನ ಮಾರ್ತ್ಯೇನ ಕೃತ ಮನಸ್ವಿ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ್ಯಾಸಮ್ಯಾಂತ್ಯ ಅಭಯ ಪದ ಹರೇ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಲೈ in the land of bharatavarsha is preferable to a life achieved in brahma loka for millions and billions of years because if one is elevated to brahma loka he must return to repeated birth and death 
ऑल दो लाइफ इन भारत वर्ष इन ए लोअर प्लानिटरी सिस्टम इज वेरी शॉर्ट वन हु लिवस देयर कैन एलिवेट हिमसेल्फ टू फुल कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस एंड अचीव द हाइएस्ट परफेक्शन इवन इन द शॉर्ट लाइफ लोटस फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड दस वन अटेन्स वैकुंठ लोका वेर देर इज नीदर एंगजाइटी नॉर रिपीटेड बर्थ इन ए मेटीरियल बॉडी शास्त्रास हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड इंडिया टू बी ए सच ए वंडरफुल प्लेस बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स एबिलिटी टू फ्री अस from this cycle of birth and death without uh, taking into account our sanatana dharma our spiritual culture my friends there is nothing that is actually keeping us together we are doing our bit as part of this channel to protect this wonderful literature the bhagavad gita by widely circulating it do come be part of this wonderful goal by taking a bhagavad gita for yourself it is available in different languages in the true spirit of the diversity of india the link is there in the description below hare krishna